Wow. <laughs> Did you see that? When you throw bait fish out into the surf, you never know what's gonna happen. Watch this. We just turned on TikTok. Right now it is like seven o'clock. And I'm throwing my first line out in the water. We just got fish gum on there to try to save some time. We've already got something here. Oh yeah, we got something. It was just slack. It feels good. It's still strong. What do we got here? Oh, we've got a a nice sail cat. Show TikTok. This guy's heavy. All right, guys. First fish of the day. We got a really nice sail cat. Down here in Flagler Beach, we're north of. St. Augustine. We're gonna get this guy off. There we go. Finally. Whew. Okay, that was a trip. This guy did not want to give the hook up, so I'm gonna get him in some water here. But this guy, these saltwater catfish are really good to eat, and I think we've got another fish on the line, so I'm gonna turn that around so you can see my other line. Oh yeah, we definitely got a fish on there. the one I cast out pretty far. Oh, uh, it's another sail cat, but it's a teeny baby one. All right, we have another sail cat, but it's much, much smaller than the other one. Way bigger though, when you put it right up to the camera. Woo! <laughs> so we're just a few days after the hurricane came through north of us. It's churned up our water. I expected it to be dirty, so I kind of expected these guys today. I hit on this one again. This is our long one. It's way out there keeping pressure on it all the time because one of the biggest mistakes I see people make is that they will grab the pole and then drop the, the tip. And there's all this slack in the line and the fish just pops right off every single time almost, unless it's hooked really, really well. So you want to keep tension on the line at all times. You don't need to, don't need to set the hook again, really. <laughs> Look, another tiny guy. Hopefully a better bite than that one. <laughs> oh, we got doubles. What's better than one fish? Two fish. Uh, we've got a whiting. This is a croaker. Yeah, this is a croaker. You can hear him. Hear him making that noise, but this is great bait. Oh, that one's really getting hit now. I'm going to toss this back in and go reel that one in. This isn't as far as it was before. This feels good. We got two more fish. We got both species of saltwater catfish on one line. But my client is here, so as soon as I get these guys off, I'm going to be coming off a of TikTok. But thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all of you. 4.8k likes. Hey, thanks for all those likes, guys. I appreciate it. Sorry about that. I wanted to turn that off. What is the tide doing? It's coming in. So I believe high tide is around 11 something. This is what we call a high impact beach. So you see it's really steep down to the water. And then I don't know if you've ever been here swimming or anything. If you step out maybe 15, 20 feet in the water, you'd be a chest deep in the water. So we got like a nice deep trough. So cool thing about that is it's gonna hold fish all the time. I've found whatever the tide is here, we're always catching fish. I think that was the fresh dead shrimp on this one. So since the croaker's already dead, I'm just kind of cutting up into the guts. I try to do it when they're still alive, but... Sure. What else are you going to catch? Could be a big red, like a redfish. If there's bluefish around, they bite on it too. So we'll keep this drag pretty loose. 
And if something bites on it, we're going to know it. <laughs> Do you make your own rigs for things like pompano rigs or just buy them? We're partnered with Frisky Fins. Frisky Fins makes our pompano rigs. Um, Frisky Fins does a lot of rigs for a lot of people. So those are our pompano rigs. And we sell those in our store. And then I hand tie our float rigs. A lot of these are pretty well used. I need to get some new ones in here, but. You guys have so a these store are. Also? I've got an online store, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, but these are the ones I tie. And we put the floats right on the hooks, as you can see, like right here. Because when you look at underwater footage, a lot of times those, like, especially Pompano, they suck in the floats before they suck in the bait. So, figured a way to get the uh, floats on the hooks and then the different colors are just for different water water clarity. We sell the sinkers too. We're working with redfin fishing. So he's down in New Smyrna Beach, Jason Geyer, and he pours his own lead for his sinkers. They're the best that we've ever used. So that's our three ounce. This is our five ounce. I use the five ounces when it's like really windy or like the surf is really rough and you just got to get it to, to get out there. I won't be going out. So if you won't be going in those conditions. So yeah, probably three ounce, four ounce. Just got a couple sand fleas, a few to start with. And let's see what we're catching here. We're gonna throw sand fleas on this one. There we go. It's another decent sail cat. Not bad. These are a little easier to grip than the, than the hard heads because their sails so, come out so far. Have you ever used the flippy do? Flip, what's that? The flippy do. Flippy do, no. Okay. You take the line in the left hand, slide the hook down until the two are level. Flip. The catfish comes off in one foot. Really? Yes. I've not ever heard of that. Okay, I'll show you how we bait these sand fleas. Hopefully they have eggs. That one doesn't. Let's see what this one, yeah, this one's definitely got eggs. Try to so get them if they have- how do you tell it has eggs? Right under this tail, they have bright orange. Okay. See all that orange? Yep. Yeah. That is, the fish really, they, they love the eggs. So we're gonna hook them through the bottom to the top, through the tail if possible. Just gonna hold those eggs in there. Have you casted this one yet? It's real lightweight. Okay. So you just tighten it down, lift it straight out and start reeling. There we go. Little guy. Yep, little guy. He's gonna grow up. Oh man. I know some people just take their pliers and just get them off. See, the beautiful thing about using a flippy do is you Not don't even, even have it. to touch the fish. Yeah. And it's especially handy. I might have, if you like know a place online where they talk about it, or maybe I can look it up, the flippy do. That's a good idea. Okay, we got a bite here. This feels pretty good. I can't tell what it is yet another sail cat but we'll throw him back because that's not going to have very much meat on it dude okay he's throwing the croaker back out i don't know if we'll get too many hits on it we'll see might need to cut it so it's bleeding we got another sail cat but the sail cats are thick today some days it's just hard heads and there's no sail cats at all so here it is, my day. <laughs> it's the dirty water. It's it's been a lot this this summer's been a lot of dirty water days. In between all the catfish, like like that really big whiting, like takes several catfish to find the good fish. There we go. We'll get this guy back. I know guys, you're not a bad fish. The gaff top sails get a bad rap because of the name catfish. They are good eating. He's reeling something or other in. I'm gonna get this uh, cut bait. We had the whole fish on there, but decided nothing's biting on it, so we're just gonna put the head. What does he got? Another catfish. 
Lord, we need something other than catfish. Let us get some good fish here. Some more whiting would be awesome. Where's that flippy do when we need it, right? Yeah, at least the hard heads don't, uh, don't goop up the line as bad. So yeah, I put the sand flea on the top. They're not seeming to touch the sand fleas today. I must be sick of them. This was, uh, I think, fresh dead shrimp. Yeah, I put the fresh dead shrimp head. Gosh, that was a tarpon. Check this out. I hooked up on a six to eight foot tarpon today and it jumped completely out of the water. Almost missed all of the video footage, but you can see the distance it was from the shore and the amount of the splash. You can see that that was a really big fish. Well, we're slowing this down for you and let's watch that again. Gosh, that was a tarpon. Did you see that? It jumped. It was running and it jumped out of the water. I've never hooked onto a tarpon before. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. Did you see that? Oh my God. Unfortunately, I was watching you. Oh, that was crazy. I'm gonna look at the footage and see if we got that on film. That's about how far I had it out before. So that's, that tells you how close these big fish come in. Another little sail cat. Okay, I'm, I'm testing this out because I'm getting bit like crazy. These flies are crazy. So someone said that the something's fishy may work as like bug spray. So I'm gonna spray this all over my legs. I'm getting attacked by these bugs. It smells amazing. His little tagline is like, something's fishy, don't let it be you kind of rub it in and then I'll need to get it off my hands before I touch bait again. I met, uh, his name's Brandon, at um, iCast. We're gonna see if these, if these flies keep bothering me. So far, there's no more bites. Just right away, they're gone. Any flies? I don't even see flies around me. No, they're like gone. Sweet! I think he's getting tired, it's getting hot. We only have like 15 minutes left anyway, so. I'll probably start packing things up as we get lines in. Yep, got, got a bite here. Let's see what we got here. Is that another catfish or? Oh, we got a whiting this time. There we go. 